Most of another wall put in. See, here's. Well, I'll have to move that. Ow, motherfucker! got to finish it the bottoms aren't aren't there it's the wall I put in today it's part of the other one too I moved that board those ones got taken down I took those logs down I'm gonna put something else there oh got more supports in for the top floor there's that one and uh, I don't remember if I ever showed this one or not, but there it is. Um, switched up where my chains are hung up. We'll show you the top four now. Uh, I just laid the metal up there for now, but it's coming along. This is going to be like a little watchtower platform kind of deal. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's basically all I did today. Most of today was just moving shit around, plotting out my next moves. Uh, yo, check this out. So, I dropped my hammer off the side earlier, and this is what I heard. Listen to that ring. <laughs> Holy shit. That's got some like real nice harmonics to it, huh? That's exactly the kind of resonance that I need in the armor. So, um, these are going to have to be flattened out. I don't know how. It's going to take me a hell of a time, but I'll get there. I'm going to make plates out of these. So I'm going to cut them, I think, where the holes are, and uh, go from there. But uh, like I said prior, once this is done, um, I'm going to turn these plates into a pair of gauntlets, just to start. And maybe I'll make some boots, too. Um, those will just be prototypes, though. I'm going to order some other stuff for the other pieces I'll be making. <laughs> but, uh, um, I think I'd already showed this, but I got coal. <sighs> got me some pole barn nails. Some of these big old, I think they're gutter spikes or something. <laughs> But, uh, I put in one of the supports before today, or earlier today. I don't know if you can see it, but that's one of those big old gutter spike nail things up in there. But, um, more or less, that post will both serve as a, a support to keep it straight, and it's going to serve as the stairs. The other support is going to go up right there in that small log. There's going to be a smaller set of steps right there that'll lead up. And um, I was originally thinking, since I don't currently have wood to fit this spot right here, maybe just using like maybe that pool ladder here to climb up, but I'll just find something to, I'll find something to put there. 
to make it a floor and just go with the stair idea. Um, got me a nice umbrella to hang out under for break time. See, look at that. Ha. Uh, basically, yeah, that's pretty much all I did today. I didn't do much. Um, um, oh, yeah, uh, I did finish cutting that log down. Instead of putting it in where I meant to, I ended up just kind of <laughs> doing some squats with it. It was fun. Uh, I got me some more rocks, found some more stones, and there always a bit of carpet here. Not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but I'll figure something out. Um, I got plenty of this shit. I got plenty of that. Got another huge chunk of this here, this metal. Um, yeah, but like that's it for now, I guess. I haven't done much, like I said today. But it is, uh, it is coming along nicely. I got me a little jeweler's anvil. I figure I'll probably start making some knives, and this will come in handy when I'm doing like pins and stuff. Um, at least I think that's what that is, is a jeweler's anvil. I don't know. It's just an anvil as far as I know. That's all I know is that it's, it's, it's anvil. It's a mini anvil and I have need of anvils of all sizes and shapes. Um, my fuel can, damn it. That's right. Got to show you that. Whole can of diesel leaked out through the tiniest little holes in the world. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it. You should be able to, right there. Whole frickin' can of diesel. Pisses me off. All that money right into the shitter. Well, anyhow, it happens. I guess we'll have to just buy some more. Material items can be replaced. People in lives can't, so no big deal getting all bent out of shape out of it, or about it. But, um, yeah, so... There's just a bunch of different crap. Oh, yeah. I found this today on my property. I haven't had green hulls for the last, I don't know, five, six years. Uh, a day or two ago, maybe. I don't know. Saturday or Sunday. Friday or Saturday, rather. I was down outside the house splitting some wood and uh, heard a gunshot up here. Came up and didn't see nothing. But over in that direction, um, I don't know if you can see it, where that pile of debris is right there in the center of the camera. That pile of debris, there's, I don't know, maybe it's still there. It rained today, so I doubt it. But I found a blood trail. So there was definitely someone illegally hunting on the property. And uh, I found the hull about, what was it, yeah, it was over there, Four, about 40 yards over that direction is where I found the hull today, while I was cutting down some trees, I just seen like, the shiny brass sticking out of the ground, like, between the leaves and stuff, and, uh, oh man, no, you can't really see it anymore, but it was, there's, there was a big old spot right here, right there, I mean, maybe you can kind of still see some of it, but, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty well gone, but it, it led up to that direction, so I assume it ran over that way, <sighs> but, um, yeah, <sighs> there was, uh, ugh, goddamn bugs, <sighs> there was, uh, somebody doing things they weren't supposed to do up here, hey, look at that, I didn't even know these were over here. Great, I need those. Take the big one first. So, slow progress. Slow but sure. We're getting there. Um, I got a whole bunch of flat, like, paving stones to bring up. They're going to act as, like, the floor, sort of. So we'll, we'll get there. Um, 
I don't exactly know how I'm going to handle the forge situation quite yet. Like the actual forge itself, the, what do they call it? The fire pot or whatever. So I think that I've decided on where the forge is going to go definitively. Um, it's going to go right here. I'm going to put some supports in through here and then just build up the smokestack up and out the side like that. And, um, the forge will just go like right there. Uh, and it's, I mean, I don't know how well it's going to work, but it's got to get hot enough to forge AR 500 plate, but I just got a bunch of boxes and wood in here right now for the burning. Just like, cause this is how I cook my food. When I'm up here, I'll just grab a hunk of meat and throw it on the fire and call it a day like that. Oh man, get that out of there. And this out of here. Um, oh, lots of at. What the hell is that? What the fuck is this? Who in the hell threw that in there? God damn it. That's why I don't let people use my shit. They do ridiculous nonsense. Uh, anyways. You see, I got the fire brick in there already. Some of them. Not a lot, but some. Um, there's one down here. Why is it down there? I bet you Madink did that. Oh, God damn dingling. Why are you putting shit under there like that? I told you to use stones, not my fire bricks. A friend of mine came and was helping me do this when I did this, and he put one of my fire bricks under there. Which tells me he probably put more than one. Yep, see, there it is. There's another one right there. God damn it. A little bit of advice, folks. If you want something done right, do it yourself. Don't employ anyone else to do it. I had someone else doing that for me. While I was carrying up the stones and the bricks for them. And they used my fire bricks in a way they weren't supposed to. Um, anyways, so... Yep, yeah, that's a little bit of progress I got done today. <sighs> um, currently waiting for... Uh, an anvil. Some tongs and a new hammer. A uh, family member of mine from down in Pennsylvania. Uh... Had some old, real old equipment. They got a whole big ass settlement for some kind of injury or something they got at work. I don't know. Anyway, he upgraded his whole forge. Dude has like a full fledged smithy. And when I say that, I mean like a, a whole ass blacksmith shop. Dude has got a barn filled to the brim with everything blacksmith. Um, he'll give me equipment and stuff, but he won't let me use his forge. To build the stuff I want to build. Um, but anyway. <coughs> so just uh, a couple thoughts. Number one. <coughs> folks got to stop worshipping government. If you challenge the government. If you defy the government. It is not a death sentence. The government is not God. The government is not invincible. They are not indestructible. They are not infallible. If you know what you're doing, you could resist them and get them to destroy themselves for you. Okay, they're already kind of doing that. All right, and number two, if it's a God-given right and you are signing a 4473... Or any kind of licensing or other scam. 
You are asking for permission. It is that simple. Look up the definition of license. Go ahead. Just, just do it. Just do that. And you'll understand. Um, yeah, so... And to all of you out there who think we live in a goddamn democracy, we don't. This isn't a democracy. It's a constitutional republic. Okay? It's a constitutional republic. Do you get it? It's that simple. It's madness. Doesn't anybody see how all the news media is suspiciously synchronized in their message? Hasn't anybody seen those videos? Y'all gotta stop clinging to mere existence. Stop forcing yourself to be owned by the state or stop allowing yourself, excuse me. Stop being forced into it. So these tires are going to become barricades like kind of right outside of my my forge for like, uh, I don't know, just the purpose of kind of like uh, an obstructive kind of obstacle for um, whatever, like intruders or whatever. So I'll eventually stack those up and, uh, I'll slowly start filling them with cement and gravel and such. Um, so I've been thinking about using this site for something. It's pretty huge. If you look, this was clearly dug out at some point. You can see the ground dips. It's a big old bowl. So, maybe I'll be using this for something next. I don't know. But anyways, um, got a lot of land here to take resources from. So, most of my time working on this right now is just gathering up the necess necessary resources to do the next part that I'm building. And, uh... <sighs> But anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, you know, I was watching a, a live stream by Bass Chris just a little bit ago. And there's something that he said. Or was it him that said it? Or did what was the video? I don't know. Um, no, it was Bass Chris that said it. He said, if a woman needs child support to raise her child from a man, why indenture the man to this woman who clearly is incompatible with him, okay, and make him beholden to the state <laughs> when clearly, instead of just paying the woman, you could just give the man custody of his child. You know, it, 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 it boggles my brain. When I was young, people told some lies. A child state, a state child worker, whatever you call him, CPS, I think, came in and was being, well, for lack of a better word, he was being an asshole. My mother told him as much. So my, my mom, after having said that to him, his last words were to her, yeah, we'll see who the asshole is, lady. The next thing I knew, I was being removed from my home under the forceful eyeball of a thug with a gun and a badge and then I was placed into facilities where I was subsequently beaten and drugged subjected to illegal electroshock therapy and things like that so I'm not really sure where you people get that the state can be trusted the state took me in when I was six under false pretenses chewed me up and shat me out later on my kids were taken from me now I have two daughters I can't see, not because they're in the custody of the state, but because their mother has them. She has literally told me that she will, quote unquote, beat your father out of you to my child. She said this, and she's told me she said this. But it's inadmissible at court, in court because um, it's text messages. Oh, anyone could have got her phone. Which is a lie. And then you know what she does now? You know what she'll do now? She'll be verbally and emotionally abusive. She gets vitriolic 
And when I say vitriolic, I mean like just saying the nastiest shit in the world. Oh, I can't wait to put you in silver cufflinks and you're a piece of shit and blah, 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 blah. You know, just the standard psychotic woman bullcrap. And uh, she was a single mother, which that was a freaking mistake. God, I wish I'd have known that before. But um, uh, the 14, 15-year-old kid, whatever she has from some other dude who's a pedophile. Yeah, that was one hell of a goddamn revelation. Um, can't even see the child, and now he's passed away. But she's even v- violent with my children. My, uh, my oldest... My oldest is just like me. She's rambunctious. She's rough and tumble. I mean, it's, swear to God, if you've seen a picture of me when I was a kid and you look at a picture of her, you'd think it was just a picture of me. It's really crazy. Um, my youngest never wants to let go of me. She clings to me for dear life. I don't know. Uh, on the off chance that you'll ever see this, Llama, I'm fighting for you. Bean, I'm fighting for you. I can't go through the same crap that other people do, but I haven't forgotten you girls. Any chance that you'll ever see this, please know that I've never walked away. Your mother won't let me see you. So, I don't know. I guess for the sake of that message, I'll be preserving this video outside of my YouTube channel. But the point that I'm making is this. My children are in an abusive situation. They are abused daily. They are, my, my ex will call my, my children little bitches, little cunts, little assholes, retards, you name it. She calls it. It's ridiculous. I bought them a whole bunch of Easter candy. I couldn't afford the baskets, but I got a bunch of candy and stuff. Bunch of little toys and whatnot. Even a little coffee cup for my oldest daughter to drink her cocoa from. Because she loves hot chocolate. She just She's a chocolate fiend, just like me. I can't control myself around chocolate. <sighs> if, it weren't for the fa- <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that I did have some discipline, I'd be an enormous chunker by now because of chocolate. But anyway, the point I'm making is, to all you fathers out there who can't see your kids, to all you men out there who have been alienated from your, your progeny, don't accept it. Don't beg the court's permission. The only way out of a tyrannical situation like this is revolution. And while some of you out there might think it's insane, well, I can't live my life like a slave. So I guess I'll die like a warrior. That's all I can say. It's better than this. It's way better than this. You know... I struggle to find employment. What small, odd side jobs I do find, they don't pay anything, basically. I I can maybe go get some boots. Or if I don't get boots, maybe some shoes. Or maybe some clothes. Or maybe something for my kids. It's nuts. I paid for a whole ass vehicle for this broad. Paid for a whole bunch of repairs for the same damn vehicle. Years I dealt with this. Yet somehow, somehow, in the eyes of everyone else, somehow it's the man's fault. Well, I guess in a way it kind of is. Gentlemen, we have allowed this. You see, the thing is, you have to understand that the government derives its, whatever they say, just powers from our consent. That means they need our permission to do shit, not the other way around. All right, so by doing nothing, you acknowledge that they have the authority to do what they're doing. By writing and protesting and asking nicely, no, excuse me, You're basically acknowledging that you have to get their permission to live a certain way. See, here's the thing. Dry Fire Faith made a really good point. A severate, a severation day. Basically, it's just 
You don't ask to be independent. Our founding fathers didn't ask. They told. And as much as a... As much as, as, as that is a lie in, a, in, 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 in the way that our founders weren't the shining beacons of truth, justice, and paragons of, of resistance to tyranny that they have been made out to be in our minds by the, by the propaganda machine, that is still a good point to make. You don't ask a tyrant a damn thing. You tell that motherfucker. Okay, and if he don't listen, well... I guess it's time to take that neck to block then, isn't it? Isn't it? I'd say so. Sharpen your teeth, man. It's coming. You know what's crazy? Is, uh... This whole system, they exploit the weak by fabricating their needs. The system is robbing our ability to communicate. The government has become a bulbous parasite, feeding off the blood of the ignorant, an ever-expanding worm collectively attached to the collective sides of the collective people. What are we doing? Why are we doing this? Why are we allowing psychotic people to... I mean, good God... Look at AOC, for example. That maniac got elected? No, no, I don't think so. It got selected because it will do what it was told. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically I found a picture. It was, uh, it's Michael Obama <laughs> and Barack Obama back when I guess Michael was, well, still Michael. Um... So I don't I can't remember who posted that, but I'll post it. I'll show it to you guys. That's funny. That's super funny. There's no way those children are theirs. I'm sorry. You ever heard of adoption? I bet you there's someone out there who can find those papers. Adoptions are public knowledge. I bet you those names that they had were different back before they were adopted by the Obamas too. This is what I'm talking about. This nation is a crusty ass excuse of a nation. Crusty is all hell. I mean, there was there was clearly some pedophiliac behavior on on the part of Bill Gates. I mean, did you guys see the interview when he was asked about Epstein? How nervous he got? Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, he's dead now, so ho. dude. Oh, my God. Take it from a person who's been shit on his whole life, who's been chewed up and shit out by the state more times than he can count. There is nothing I hate more, nothing that makes me more bloodthirsty than those who would prey on children. I, I, it's, it's hard for me not to scream like a total maniac when, when I say things like that because it makes my blood boil just to mention it. Makes me rage. You weak ass motherfuckers pick the most vulnerable. The most pure and innocent things. And you attack them. Well. That's okay. You've attacked your last child I'm sure. To a degree. Or in a way. In a manner of speaking. I'm sure before shit hits the fan. They'll prey on plenty more children. I think Freedom Inc. is the one who said this, if I remember correctly. Because someone said to him, oh, well, what's it matter to you? There's, you know, you can't do anything about it. It doesn't affect you. And, well, his response was perfect. It does affect me. Because they're going after kids and I'm not okay with that. And that's the perfect way to illustrate it, right there. They're going after kids and I'm not okay with that. Anyway... So to all you guys out there who, uh, who want some knowledge, who want to really listen to people who know what our country is supposed to be, um, who know what our country is, is, is designed to be, go listen to Dry Fire Faith's videos. Go watch his stuff. Check out Freedom Inc. He understands what a goddamn right is. He gets what the Constitution is about, and he'll explain it. 
Well, he has in previous videos. I don't know if he really talks about that anymore. Recently, it's just kind of not been something. But anyway, um, check out Hammerhand. Check out Undead Chronic. Check out the man, the Manosphere. Check out the MGTOW guys. Actually, I wouldn't even check out the Manosphere anymore, honestly. I would just stick with the basics like... Uh, you know, Undead Chronic, Hammerhand, Ribby the Party Frog, Sir Yedis, these guys, because dudes like Fresh and Fit, they platform rapists. This dude got on Fresh and Fit's podcasts and was bragging about committing sexual assault against white women. Fresh and Fit is a bunch of punks. Fake ass, pansy ass simps. You disgust me, you goddamn worms, platform rapists. And y'all didn't even say nothing to him. If that was my channel, I'd have shut that motherfucker down. I'd have told him he's a despicable worm and should be stepped on as such, and his shit would have been off. God damn it, it's talking about nonsense you don't even believe in, then you let rapists talk on your stream. What the hell? Anyway, and then on the case of CRS, I have the, by the way, CRS... And just so you know, Dry Fire Faith, I have that debate video. I preserved that. As soon as it happened. As soon as I seen CRS, he kept trying to lead Dry Fire into saying something incriminating. He had the glowiest ass behavior I have ever seen coming from one of these gun tubers. There's no way, there's no way in hell he's not a glowy. There's no way he's not... A fed. I'm sorry, I don't buy it. And then his, 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 his woman is trying to paint him as some kind of martyr. You're not a martyr, dude. Nothing is going to come of this. You're going to jail and you're going to be away from your family because you thought you could placate the ATF. You thought you could placate the federal government. You can't. God damn it. When are people going to get... Okay, look, man, let me tell you this. There was this big ass... 300 pound ass 16 year old in class when I was a kid. It's like three times my size. And he kept screwing with the, all the smaller kids in the class. Kids smaller than me. And I told him one day, I said, you know what, you punk bitch, why don't you pick on someone like me? Someone who will deck you for it. The first time he wiped saliva on my goddamn ear, because that was his go to. He'd lick his hand and wipe it on people's ears in line. I imprinted his face into the goddamn locker. Do you know why? Because he never, ever did it again. Not to me, not to any other kid. Well, at least when I was there. Do you know why? Because there were real consequences for his dirty, nasty ass, disgusting, hood booger ass behavior. That's hoodlum shit. Put your nasty ass, no toothbrush ass saliva on me, nasty ass people. God damn makes me angry just thinking about stuff like that, man. You don't ask bullies nicely. You don't ask tyrants nicely. You tell them. And then if they don't listen, you beat the brakes off of them. That's what you do. You put the brakes on their existence by any means necessary. That's how it works. You don't politely ask ignorant shit to stop because it never does. <sighs> These are all things, I don't even know if I've mentioned some of these before, but um, anyways, you know, so yeah, check out those channels I mentioned. Gentlemen, if you're, if you're, if you're screwed over and you're looking for, you know, some sense of brotherhood or, or just someone to share some knowledge or information with or to looking to get advice on how to handle it, definitely check out guys like Hammerhand for sure, smart man. That man's, that man's content saved my life because I was, ready to, I was ready to hit that delete button. And then, I don't know, something told me to hit the library computer. And uh, that's the first time I ever found Hammerhand's content. So, to you gentlemen out there who might be going through something in this divorce rape culture or this child support grift, these people have been running for eons. Check these guys out, or if you just... Want to see someone roast insanity or see a guy who likes to roast on the e thoughts? Hit up Chronic. 
he's he's the roast master over there. So, yeah, guys, check out the War Band. Check out Drive Fire Faith. Check out um, Freedom Inc. Check these guys out. They're good. They're good folks. They know what they're talking about. They make good shit. Till next time, stay secure, stay vigilant, and remember, Axios non servium.